Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator Classic, aka Railworks. And continuing along with our theme of freeware routes, we're going to be taking a look at a new one. Oh. People yelling outside my door, anyway. People these days. Oh well. Anyhow, today we're going to be taking a look at a freeware route that is available on Railworks America. Um, and it's going to be a little bit different from my liking. But I know some of you out there are some major switch freaks. You like switching. You love switching. You like to port yourself like that. This is definitely the route for you. Um, it's a freeware route. Entirely free. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, available on the freeware routes section of Railworks America. Called the Queen Mary Island route. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up right now. And of course I will link in the description. But. This is what it is. So it is a fictional route. Roughly two-ish miles of trackage, spurs, and yards, tracks included. Set on a fictional Canadian island between Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Primarily servicing forest products. Small transload in the former Beast Bay yard allows for a metal fabricator to ship steel. So mostly you're going to see uh, lumber products, lumber cars, flat cars, and such. Uh, coming in and out by barge. So there's uh, a barge-fed railroad operates per the uh, per the lore here. The railroad operates two locomotives: an XCN Alco S2 and EMD G12 which are both available through uh, through uh, oh, balls machine not machine rail that used to be machine rail the diesel workshop sorry I took a brain dump but uh, the EMD G12 Canadian National is available through uh, diesel workshop and then the Alto S2 is freeware on Railworks America as well so those are the two locomotives that this route is designed around. A Portland Terminal MEC GP40 is used as a placeholder in the free room scenario for those who do not own these locomotives. The route is rather short and is more or less a showcase of some route building methods I've been trying in my spare time as I extend my creations beyond New England also provides an excellent spot to play with the MDG-12. So, payware, you will need the RWA, which I have gone over. I think that's a phenomenal buy, 100% worth it. Definitely check that one out. The Springfield New Haven line, pretty much the same quality as the RWA, so that one is available through Steam. Boston and Albany, recent item nah uh, Portland Terminal Pennsylvania Steam Columbia Valley Pacific and the uh, the RCAP now I own all of these I own these three I have downloaded all these all these work just fine for some reason I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. There are, unfortunately, uh, some milk bottles out on my download. Cannot confirm or deny what those assets are, what are missing, what is not. Because, just going off of the requirements, I do have them. So, if you see a milk bottle, you may or may not end up with said milk bottle. But, that is the website description of this little route. So starting off, you uh, you have your little rail barge over here, and uh, boy, this would go along really cool if 
train sim ever got functional rail barges. I know that's probably asking too much, but weird side note. <laughs> It'd be even cooler if we had something like the SS Badger, an actual proper car, car ferry. Gosh, those are, those are cool as can be, but you have your little barge here, and depending on how you set your scenario up, you'd be, uh, if you wanted to maximize your scenario usage time, you probably put a bunch of uh, different offloads right here to go to the lumber industries and such and have this chock full of whatever but got a fun little uh, kinda abandoned track here we got our lumber yard right off the bat for all of our lumber industry needs. Our locomotive shop, or rather our locomotive servicing spot with our G12 sitting here idling right now. Boogie and boogie on back here. What was an industry right there? And then the end of track back here. I do kind of get a kick out of the uh, the power lines just kind of going through the trees, and then this one random uh, light pole out here. But and then. <laughs> the gas station out here just kind of out here I imagine that there's supposed to be a road or something along here because of this but again milk bottles everywhere but the attention to detail is pretty nice overall right off the bat though I do kind of feel like we're missing people. There's like no people. Decent amount of like logging equipment and whatnot. There's no people. No little characters. No personal cars. We got an old sunken boat over here. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just a lack of people. It's kind of odd. Could definitely stand to have something like that on a short route like this that, that kind of makes or breaks it boogie and boogie on back this way to our little uh, yard back here kind of entertaining it's got a whole uh whole blown like train station right here if one were so inclined it would be kind of cool to make kind of a little heritage line continuing off back here maybe they run with some 44 tonners or something but no bottles no bottles maybe that's why it seems so dead all the people are milk bottles little uh, kind of freight depot right here and then over here is the steel industry thing I do kind it's kind of entertaining that it's not connected like the tracks are not connected to anything you kind of get a kick out of that it's cool overall it is quite neat but would be a neat it would be a neater industry to have connected somehow and yeah that's kind of it the Queen Mary Island railroad 
not a really long video today. It's kind of a, a short one, but not a big root by any means, as you can see. I mean, you zoom out here and you can see the entire thing. Not big, but lots of switching opportunities, especially given that everything has to go onto or come off of a barge like that. There's a ton of switching opportunities uh, that one could make real good use of small switching locomotives. So, for those of you that like to do switching that are not so big on the mainline operations, you will absolutely adore this route. I think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind tying it into another route per se. Uh, mixing it in to kind of maximize its usefulness for me personally. Uh, somebody else will probably find they like switching a lot more than I do. I'm not a big switching guy, but I downloaded it because I like the detail in it. Even with all the milk bottles, still a lot of detail in the route that I can appreciate. <laughs> so, anywho, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, link in the description. Highly recommend checking it out if it floats your boat. And I will see you guys next time.